Diogenes add title description for other uses, see the Diogenes, disambiguation, page. Diogenes, modern Greek, comma the pioneer of the Kinnic philosophy that lived between 412 BC, or 404 BC, 323 BC. He was born in Sinop and died in Corinth. It is also known as Sinop Diogenes and Kinnic Diogenes. Diogenes are an ancient philosopher who rejected civilization and tried to live far from civilization within civilization. Practical Information Diogenes Diogenes of Sinop Full Name The painting referring to Diogenes, who traveled with Atlantin during the daytime in Athens of the period and said he was looking for an honest man, 1780s painter J. H. W. Tisman Sarcastic Women and Diogenes, painter John William Waterhouse, 1882 Attributing to the Diogenes living in the barrel, the painter Jean Leon Jerome, 1860 Referring to Diogenes, who said to Alexander, that I could not like to bestow my son on my son, painter Gaspard de Crea, 1584-1669. The 5.5-meter-high Diogenes statue next to Sinop Castle, which became the symbol of Sinop when it was first made, caused political philosophy. 2006 Samson, Omer, Fine Arts, drawn by the Byzantine officer, who often lived in the same regions in the 10th-11th century, was confused with the Romanian Diogenes. 4. Romanos Diogenes, who was defeated by Alpaslan in the Battle of 1071 Malazgut, who married the princess of the time, Evdoxia. Life He was born in Sinop, Snop, province of the Black Sea, which was the Greek colony of the period in 412 BC, or 404 BC. There are not many sources about the first years of his life in Sinop except for his father, Hysetius and Jeweler and Saraf. It is known that his father and Diogenes were exiled to Athens on charges of counterfeiting and money destruction. Even though chisel coins from the forged iron bearing the 4th century high seashears were removed with archaeological excavations, there are no findings and sources explaining the reason for the destruction of these coins, which may have been destroyed for political or financial reasons. Athenian Diogenes went to Greece with his exiled father. He decided to live in Athens where he came with a slave called Manes, who abandoned him shortly thereafter, as a dog who opposed the civilization of the period, thereby renaming him Kinikos. He rejected the whole tradition in religion, behavior, clothing, shelter, food and education. Antistens, the founder of the cynicism teaching he met in Athens, taught his philosophy and teaching to Diogen. Antistens, who took lessons from Socrates, became one of the founders of his cynical philosophy, after Socrates' death, that he took over his own school and got rid of the true virtue of one's own self, his passions and dependence on other people. Diogenes complied with Antistens' nature-friendly call. Diogen, who spent his life as extremely poor, has a keg and a bowl in which he lives. According to rumors, when he saw a child drinking water with his handful at the beginning of a fountain one day, he threw the bowl in his hand saying this child taught me that he had an extra item. Corinth on the way to Aegina, Diogene, who was widely reported to have been abducted by pirates and sold to a man named Xenides, taught the two sons of Xenides. It is rumored that in Corinth, where he lived the rest of his life, he did not continue his street life and turned into a virtuous scholar. Alexander the Great and Diogenes being a student of Aristotle, Alexander the Great is a ruler who is passionate about philosophy and values philosophers. Alexander the Great came to Corinth, visited Diogenes and asked if he had a wish. He asked the question, don't want a shadow, bestow another bestow. Gave the answer. The actual form of his answer is pointing out what you cannot give me from me by pointing the sun with his index finger. Later on, Alexander said, if I were not the famous Emperor Alexander, I would have wanted to be Diogenes. Death Although many causes of death are rumored, such as the suicide of a rabid dog, due to the habit of eating raw octopus or by holding his breath, there is no definite information about the cause of death today. This famous Kinnick philosopher, whom Afflatun called Crazy Socrat, who speaks very well and can affect everyone with his superior intelligence, 
was respected despite all the strangeness, abnormal state and attitude, and after his death, a marble column in which a Corinthian dog leaned in his memory. Turkey also to keep alive the memories of Diogenes in 2006, the statue was erected at the entrance of Snop. The six-meter marble Diogenes statue, depicted with a lantern and a dog next to it, was prepared in six months by a team of 25 people under the leadership of Trin Bars, lecturer at Andokizmes University Fine Arts Department. Philosophy Although Diogenes lived in poverty, slept in public places, and gathered his food by begging, he did not advocate that everyone should live in the same way. It aimed to show that one can be happy and independent even in the most restricted living conditions. He argued that one should be self-sufficient. He denied a life that adhered to the rules and tools brought by civilization, and believed that life should be natural and plain. He lives a simple and natural life, and a miserable life in terms of social values. According to him, a simple lifestyle means not paying attention to the customs and customs of organized, and consensus societies, other than simplicity. Diogenes argued that the family, which is an anti-nature institution, should be replaced by a natural situation where women and men are not connected to a single partner, and children are under the responsibility of the whole society. Hoarding syndrome over time, Diogenes have been a fit for people living similar to his lifestyle. This analogy has started to be used in psychiatry and people who do not take care of themselves are likened to Diogenes and their diseases are called Diogenes syndrome. These patients are normally people with a high socio-cultural level, and they pass this type of behavior disorder very slowly. First of all, these patients who cut off their contact with what is happening around them usually live alone or are not aware of their relatives. They can also start to garbage, syllogomania, by anti-socializing and mostly living in dirt rust, in a scattered environment. See also Cynicism Ancient Philosophy Additional Reading, Dead, Broken Link, Philosophy Series for Minors Yan Markand, Diogenes, Dogman, System Publishing, 2012, ISBN 978 975 342 841 5 Nijat Mualimaglu, Treasure for the Thinking Person, Avkul Barzim Yain, 2002 PDF, Diogenic Syndrome, Turkish Journal of Geriatric, 2002 Quotations of Diogen References about this item View Edit History View Discussion Page Discuss the improvements in this article Read more Turkish literature before Islam Turkish literature before Islam More epic period Turkish literature is the name given to the literature the Turks created before the acceptance of Islam. Pre-Islamic Turkish literature, starting from 4000 BC, 11. It takes up to the century. Literature of this period is generally composed of oral products and written products are almost non-existent. M.S.Y. in pre-Islamic Turkish literature. While the period up to the 21st century is called the oral literature period, the written literature period started after the first written works started to be given. The oldest written documents belonging to the ancient Turks are the Orkan inscriptions. These inscriptions are the first known alphabet of the Turks. The Orkan alphabet and the works written by Gok Turks. In general, the period before Orkan inscriptions was described as oral literature, and afterwards as written literature. Human magazines published in Turkey Human magazines published in Turkey Cretaceous Crates is a Kinnik philosopher from Thebes. He distributed all his money to live the poor life on the streets of Athens. Content is available under CC by SAR 3.0 license unless otherwise stated. View item in browser. Thank you.